to park whatever because uh, my SD card which is from pen drive I think it's, you can get it for 60 ringgit this is a 32 gigabyte class 10 SD card so it ran out of space so thank god I heard the the of the of the camera because I set it to have more sound because I, I it's uh, frustrating to actually think that you are shooting but you are actually not then the whole video is fucked so the most important thing is the roast pork the skin must be like crunchy and uh, there's a bit of fat in for the salty moist moisture like taste to it mm. can you hear that it's salty and uh, oh my god the roast pork very nice and it's salty since it's salty Eat some with the the sweet content, yin yang factor. Mm. 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 It's very good with the the noodles. Mm. And more for the char siu. The char siu is full of of uh, of the the fat in it. Wow, oh my god! And it, it to want to make want to make a excellent char siu. Sweet and nice and moist. That's a uh, bottom up. Mm. Mm. Nice. Very nice. The problem with a lot of uh, the food sellers in in Mal Malaysia as a whole is they hang their their char siu on that uh, spiky thing, and uh, over time it becomes. Uh, drier and drier so this is not dry this is fresh it's around 9 30 a.m now so this is the best time to eat char siu especially when the person actually made it on site itself in the morning mm. so it's salty no no sorry this is uh the sweet one so want to get a yin yin yang factor dip it in the light soy sauce which is salty and throw them some Mm. The sugar car caramelization, crunchy and delicious. Oh my god. Mm. So, the start of the show of this, uh, this food here from this uh, shit, what's it called? Chan Ming Ki. It's not the wanjan, not anything else, but the char siu and also the roast pork. Oh my god, very nice. Chilies is a bit uh, spicy as well, but when it, comes, when it comes to the pickled chili, I prefer the one in uh, Bido, the baseball Punchun, uh, famous for its uh, dark herbal uh, wonton mean. That's the best so far. Sweet, crunchy, and nice. This one is okay, not bad. Mm. Delicious. Oh. Hopefully it's not too expensive. <coughs> I don't know about the price because the, the website that I, uh, I got it, this information from, uh, uh, Motor Mouth from Ipoh, uh, that was, was uh, in uh, 2011 or 2009, so the prices must have gone up by then. It was 5 ringgit back then. Not dry, very moist. Mm. That's how when I was at the back lane, the, the smell of the, the char siu and also the roast pork reminded me of the time back in uh, Britain, um, working in that condo restaurant in God knows where, in, uh, west of uh, London. London, two hours drive from London itself. So it brings back a lot of memories. The of all the fact, all, all the senses, uh, the smell is the it's a very strong, strong uh, element that actually brings back memories. At the time that the smell, like your first girlfriend, what she smells like, and the first time you're doing it, or something like that, how she smells, that's a very important thing. So 
So when I was talking to Mr. Chan, uh, my memories were going back to Britain. <coughs> the in the res restaurant that I work as a waiter is a posh Chinese Hong Kong restaurant. Look at the pork. Anthony Bourdain, eat your heart out. This is delicious. Or Andrew Zimmerman or Sarah, whatever. Uh, or Andrew Praise. This is good shit. This pork here. You don't need the you don't need a, a, ro a suckling pork or a suckling pig. You just need this shit here. This pork bellies. Mm. Mm, very sweet. Very moist. Very good. I haven't eaten such a such char siu in a long long time already really. it's a restaurant quality for caliber char siu and this place does not even have a air con so you don't need to be in a posh restaurant to enjoy such a delicious char siu it's only by chance that i got to know or come to this place because last night i was like going to the to the the web, the Google or Intersphere or Internet Sphere, and just stumble upon this one because I just Google PJ or SS2 good food and uh, directs me to Motor Mouth. And from Motor Mouth, there I found this place. And uh, thank God the food is still good because there are a lot of uh, places uh, sometimes they get too famous already, uh, it's not so good. Uh. But have, thank God that the roast pork and the chassis is just good, very good. So if you want to have like coffee in the morning, you won't find coffee here, only light chai. Mm. Oh, it's fat. Oh my god. It's fat. I'm gonna get a heart attack soon. All this, all this is chi pei or pork rind, uh, cracking pork. People who have a high cholesterol and stuff like that, I think they'll be very envious of watching this video. Mm, let's go with oil from the pork itself. Mm. And I said earlier, this is uh, this is non halal, so Jews and Muslims they cannot eat, eat this. It's, which is quite a shame. Uh. I think the human race would be a much better place or better better species if uh, everybody learned to eat pork. Food can actually bring people together. And religion does not do that. Religion segregates people. I didn't say anything about the noodles. The noodles is uh, good, good as well. Personally, when it comes to wonton mee, I do not like to eat this one because there's not not much in it. It's like it's more air than than claw. I prefer to have the thick noodles, uh, Thai lok mee. That one is uh, more flour per, per portion. So what are my plans for today? I'm not sure actually. But to keep maybe. Mm. Mm. The fat from this one, oh my god. Sweet. Sweet heavenly deliciousness. Full of oil, delicious. I think the marathon runners don't usually eat this much fat on oil. 
So did I enjoy myself in the Sunway Pyramid thingy? Yeah, I did very, I enjoyed it the hell out of it. <coughs> it's very fun to actually uh, take the video of the people who are in the cow pen waiting, waiting to be released into the, the world running and jogging and whatever they do and walking. The atmosphere is electric. And uh, sadly, I did not get to like interview Marina. Of course, at the time when I stumbled upon her, I couldn't believe I could actually recognize her, even though I just uh, seen her for once. Uh, some people also I have seen, like Konnichiwa, I've seen them. Uh, I can think maybe I can recognize all these people easily. So I did not like uh, interview or ask an interview from Marina because I got a feeling that she was like, uh, oh my god, she was rolling her eyes or something like that. So I might as well fuck off and continue on walking without saying anything else. But a uh, good morning. Too bad I didn't say good luck. But uh, saying good luck is kind of like condes condescending because uh, it's like, oh, I don't believe you are going to gonna finish the marathon. So good luck. So, oh, slow spot. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Oh my god. Oh. Delicious. Salty and, and put some of the sauce which is sweet. Mm. Eight stars out of ten, my friends. Good shit. Hopefully it's going to be a good day today, definitely. Better not smoke in the premise, because they might kill me. Although there's um, ashtrays everywhere. Give and take long, why not? Three hours worth of uh, videoing. It's more than enough already. Three batteries is good enough for mar uh, that event. Because there were only like two stages in that uh, Sunway Marathon. But when it comes to, I like, say, the Penang Marathon, uh, that one I'm not sure. I think there are a couple of stages, so it's going to be a hectic day there. And I'll continue on doing my Penang Hunt series, the uh, version 2.0 bringing good food to you we are videoing uh, so that you don't have to eat excellent food i will do it for you you can watch me eat it and a nice guy so far it's around 9 45 am it's a nice day it's not sunny at all there's uh, the weather is uh, cool very cool since last night it rained the shit out of kale Getting away all the gas, exhaust, exhaust gas from the cars and stuff. So. so I'm uh, having high hopes for Penang, uh, the Penang trip. Uh, there are so many places that I need to cover. <coughs> Galaxy I already covered. But behind Galaxy, there are a lot of runners and uh, bicyclists. 
Is there such a thing as bicycles? Uh, bicycle, people who ride on bicycles going up the hill, oh my god. I mean, for me, for me personally, when I was walking up the hill, trying to avoid the, the paying for that uh, car track thingy, just to see the Kunyam statue, it really took my breath away. Not the Kunyam statue, but uh, the, the fucking walking up the hill, which is a 45 degree uh, slope. That really took my breath away. And on, on top of the hill, if I were to go up uh, further, of course I'm not going to do it by my using two, my two-legged uh, appendages, but I'll be using the motorcycle to go up there. There is a reservoir uh, for, for, for water. I think it's a, a dam. I uh, don't know whether it's for electricity or not, but it is up there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to visit that place. And there's also the Bukit Bandera, which I think I, I'll try my best to actually find the best way to go up there without using the the train thingy. Um, then there's also the botanic botanical gardens. Then there's also the butterfly farm. Is there a butterfly farm in Penang? I'm not sure. I think there's only in Cameron Highlands. And of course, uh, there's also like say. Uh, what Chill1880 says that uh, Pago Island, yeah, that I will do in the future, definitely. But I just don't have the time. Yes, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm just very, very busy doing nothing. So it's an excellent meal very fattening breakfast and it will last me until lunch uh, lunch I don't think I'll be eating anything at all I've been having irregular eating times since the marathon began last Saturday and Sunday and I'm still recuperating from having like not enough sleep for the past couple of days already. so I guess I'll see you in Malaysia and uh, wherever you are from so if you like it, like it, if you don't like it, don't like it, and if you like what I do, do subscribe, uh, leave a comment, I will get back to you definitely with a funny and thumbs up type of uh, quotes and stuff like that. I'll try my best to entertain you and uh, don't leave any stupid comments, okay? See you in Malaysia and bye-bye. Let's go and have a 360 view of the place. A lot of shaking, shaking camera as well. Okay, see ya. Bye bye.